This is the answer sheet to Sudoku Primer video number 133. That video was a pop quiz where we solved a diabolical puzzle and I just placed numbers without explaining uh, why I placed each number where I did. And your job was to try and understand how I got each number. In this video, um, video I'm going to go in the same order fill in numbers in the same order as I did on the pop quiz and this time I'll explain them. Uh, before I get started uh, I want to show you a couple of things that I noticed which helped me find some numbers early on which helped me get the puzzle going. If you look at this puzzle you'll and try and solve sections you'll see that you really can't find any numbers to get started with. So I'll, I'll get going. I'm going to go in the same or fill in numbers in the same order as I did in the pop quiz. And if I, I'm not going to explain every number because some of them are pretty obvious. But if I fill in a number that I don't explain and you don't understand why I placed it there, uh, please leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. All right. Well, first of all, let me just explain here what I saw. We've got an offset pattern right here and an offset pattern right here. Because of this offset, these offset patterns, I noticed uh, pretty quickly that this 1 and 5, because there's a 1 and 5 here, those are 1, 5 twins. And this 8, 6 right here show us that these are 8, 6 twins. And so we know these three numbers and these three numbers also. So up here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, I'm sorry, 6 is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, 7, and 9. And down here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got three, four, nine here. Now, so we know these are two seven nines, but we can't solve any of them. We know these are eight sixes, we can't solve any of them. We know these are three four nines, but we can't solve any. And here we got one fives and we can't solve them either. So we know a fair amount, but we can't really put any, fill in any numbers yet, but those are gonna help us find some other numbers. The first number I placed was a 9 right here. And that's because, if you remember, there's a 279 here and a 349 here. And we've already got 9s in these two rows, so the 9 has to go there. Then I placed a 4 right there. That's because we've got a 4 here and a 4 here. We've got a 4 here and we have ghost 4s here in these 349 triplets here. So that 4 has to go there. And I placed a 3 here. Now this one is a little bit tricky. We have 349s here, so these can't be 3s. There's a 3 here, so one of these two is a 3 in this box. And we've got a 3 here, so one of these is a 3 in this box. So with double row elimination, we see that these two rows are covered. That we can't have a 3 here or here. So we know a 3 goes in one of these two places. And there's a 3 there already. Then we put a 3 here. And that one's pretty obvious. Then I noticed we have a two eights right here, and these are two eights, two eight twins right there. So these are one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So these are five sevens. We can't solve the five sevens, but we can solve the two eights. Another thing I could have done was seen these two twos and placed a two there. But I saw these two eight twins and saw there was a two here, so I placed a two there and then eight there. Okay, 
if I'd have seen these twos and placed that two, I probably would have seen that eight also there pretty quickly. And I put a five right here. And that five is because when I looked at this row right here, we've got one, two, five, seven, two, five, and seven missing. And there's a two and seven here, so that had to be a five. And then I saw the seven and the two pretty, pretty easily. So I placed those right after that. Okay, now that we've placed a five here, these one five twins that we found right off can be placed there. So I put a one there and a five there. And because of these ones, I know this is a one right there. There's a one here also. Then I noticed this one right there, because we've got ones here already. That was pretty easy. All right. And then I went down here and I put a 9 right here. And then I put in a 4 and a 3. Now how did I get that 9? Well I saw that we have a 4 here. So one of these had to be a 4. Therefore one of these had to be a 4. And I saw a 9 here, so one of these had to be a 9. So I know this had to be a 9. So we have four 9 twins here. I also knew that, well, one other way I could have seen that too is we've got 4 and 9 in this box already, so these can't be 4 and 9, and we know they're 5 and 7. So we could have seen those were 4 and 9 because of these 5 7s here that I mentioned earlier. So there are a couple of ways to see those four nines there. But then how, how did I know this is a nine? Well, because of the ambiguity, ambiguity rule, if we have a four, four nine twins here, and we've got a four in one of these two cells, we know we can't have a nine in one of these two cells, or that would be ambiguous. So because of the ambiguity rule, or what many people call unique rectangles, um, I knew that the, neither of these could be a 9. I knew one of them had to be a 4, so therefore neither of them could be a 9. So I knew the 9 had to fit right there. Now if you don't know the, if you don't understand the ambiguity rule, you can go to sudokuprimer.com under techniques and find that and learn more about that. And then the three and four were pretty easy to place after I put the nine in. Then I placed a three in box five. That's very obvious. And three in box four. That was very obvious. And then I put a three and five in here. Those are pretty self-explanatory. And again, if I don't, um, if I don't explain one of the any of these numbers, and you don't understand why I placed them, uh, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll try and answer your question. Now we have a five in box one, right there. That one's pretty obvious, and therefore a five goes here. And with this five here, we can fill in the five sevens here in box six. And that helps us find that seven in box five. So we have a seven here, seven here, and seven here. Okay. Okay, now we have kind of an interesting situation. You, and I'm sure you've seen this before where you've got we've got eight six twins here 
those are the ones we found because of these eight sixes at the beginning. We've also get, got six and eight missing here and six and eight missing here. But we can't solve these here or here yet. But we can solve these six eights because of that eight right there. And so I just filled in all six of those numbers. Then I went down here and I filled in the 4 and the 9. I could have done that after I found this 9 and then put the 3 and 4 in here, but I didn't do that until later. And now I put an 8 down here in the box 7. That one's pretty obvious. Then I put a 4 up here. And the way I got that 4 is because we're missing 1, 2, 4, 8, 9. 2, 4, 8, 9. And we've got a 2, 8, and 9 in this column already. So that had to be a 4. Before I placed that 4, I saw that there was a either a 2 or a 4 fit here because we had an 8 and a 9 already in this column. But I couldn't solve that one yet. But now that we have a 4 there, I can put a 2 here and a 4 there. And that 4 is pretty obvious also. And now with this 2, I can place the 2 in box 2 there and finish this out. Remember this was our 279 two, triplets. We got a 7 there. And with those, with that nine, and we got ghost nines here, and nine there, we know that this is a nine. And then we just finished this, this row, and then we finished this row. Now we got six sevens here left. With placing this five, we know. There's a 5 there. And then now we've got one nine twins here. There's a 1 there. So those were placed. And then we've got only two numbers left here. So those were placed. 7 and the 1. And we finished that column. Finished that box. Okay, now we've got a 6, 7 here and a 6, 7 here. Um, both twins. We can't solve these yet because these are still missing, but there's a 7 there. So we put a 7 there and a 6 there, and a 7 there and a 6 there. So, and that does it. So I hope that helped you understand if, if there were some numbers I placed in the pop quiz that you uh, weren't quite sure about. I hope that helps you understand where all the numbers go. And again, if you still have questions, please leave a comment and I'll try and answer them. Well, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you on the next video.